Well, hello, hello, hello. We're starting a new chapter, and this new chapter is about significance tests. Significance test is a formal way of us determining if I am being cheated by a company. And for the company to, with statistics, prove or disprove um, that I'm being cheated. So, let's turn to our notes, and I want you guys to turn to um, the cartoon that I have there, and I know yours has it, but the print quality is bad. Sorry about that. But this is what's happening here, okay? Things got really interesting when the statistician started talking about, um, well, started um, doing ward rounds. Why? Because the patient is asking, well, does it work? And the statistician said, well, it depends on what you mean by does it or work. And we know what we mean when it says work because, I mean, we've talked about experiments. And as we're looking at the idea of experiments, if the experimental design really does make a difference or did it happen by chance? So... As we look at the objective on this video, it's just one. We want to state the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. So, in a significance test. So the question should be, well, as we slide down to our notes, what is the basic idea of a, conf of a significance test? Okay, well, you can see here that I have this a process that we um, use to help us to determine if there's evidence um, that something's gone wrong, okay, that the evidence that things are different from what the um, population or from what a company expects. Yes, we have two competing claims, two competing hypotheses. What's another name for a hypothesis test? I mean, a significance test is a hypothesis test. You're going to hear me going back and forth. I like the term significance test because after we've done it, we determine if there's a statistic, if there's um, statistically significant. But I like the hypothesis test um, phrase also because of our steps. So as we're looking at our steps here, the first step is we need to know what our null hypothesis is. Our null hypothesis is the H O, the ho ho ho. And it is the claim that we're comparing to. We are seeking evidence against the HO. So, let's talk about something different than water. Let's talk about flaming hot Cheetos. Okay, now they're saying that this bag is only 170 calories per package. And that's what the company expectation would be. That would be considered our null hypothesis. Well, our alternative hypothesis might be something like, well, I think it's more simply because I eat so much and if it's only 170 calories, why am I gaining weight? Okay? And we're going to show words and symbols that are associated with that in a minute. But like I said here, the null hypothesis is we're seeking evidence against that. The two types of hypothesis, as we see here, is the null, that's the status quo, that is the population expectation or the company expectation. The alternative is that what we are testing against. So, let's go with the hot Cheetos again. Okay, so now, I said Cheetos, I'm sorry, it's Funyuns. I don't know. I don't eat them because there's not enough water in the world for me to handle it. But anyway, so HO, or HO, this is what the company states. The company states the caloric content of the um, 1.2, 1, 1, uh, 1 and 1 fourth ounce bag of Funyuns is 170. Okay, cool. But the alternative hypothesis is what? I said I feel like you guys are... They, they're way more caloric content. So this is what this is going to look like. 
Now, we talked about the, alter, the null hypothesis, the ho ho ho. But now I'm talking about the alternative hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis is this is, we're testing. We're testing against the status quo. We're saying, I don't know. So talking about the Funyuns right here, the caloric content of the one and a fourth ounce bag of Funyuns is greater than 170. Why do I want with one, greater than 170? Because remember what my conjecture is, it, it's got to get, be higher than 170 because why am I gaining weight off of eating so many of them? Okay, well, because you're eating so many of them, but that's another story. Okay, now we're going to put these in symbols in a few, but I wanted to show you the idea between no hypothesis, remember that's the status quo, company expectation, the population parameter. And then you have your alternative hypothesis is what we're saying, I don't think so, it's different. And then what do they say? Prove it! So that literally is what a hypothesis test is. A significance test, remember the same thing, what the, the, the purpose of it. Now, a couple things we need to make sure that you remember. Make sure to state the hypothesis in terms of the population. So whether it's mu or p, no hats allowed. Mu or p, it's always about the population. And remember the population is the status quo of the company expectation. So yes, the parameter. All, um, also, hypothesis is always about that population. So, it is always. So, that was a bit of a redundant statement, but, okay, it is what it is. Let's go to the next page. So, I mentioned this earlier. Um, we're seeking evidence against the null hypothesis. We're seeking evidence against the company. We're fighting the power. We're, we're seeking evidence against it. Um, and what we want to is determine if there is a difference. They say yes. They say no, it's not. We're saying yeah, it is. They're saying, okay, bring it. Prove it. Now, as we are doing our hypothesis test, we've got, they have sides. So here, your HO is always going to be, the parameter is going to equal whatever the value is. So when it comes to this situation about the, um, the um, what are these things called, Funyuns, the HO, as I put it in um, symbols, is that the HO is going to be, mu is going to equal 170. Okay, remember, always the Greek. Your HA, as we look at it, it's going to be either greater than, or greater than or less than. And it's never greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. It's either just less, it's either less than, greater than, and there is a third choice, but I'll show you in a minute. So let's stick with the scenario that I showed you right here. So mu is going to be less than 170. So here it is in symbols, and here it is in words. Now, I've talked about when it's greater than, I've talked about when it's less than, but there's sometimes when they just said not equal to. And the term, they use the not equal to when they just say there's a difference. Meaning, I don't know if it's better, I don't know if it's worse. I don't know if it's greater than, I don't know if it's less than. I just know it's different. And that is when the not equal to is used. Okay, so let's jump into a problem. Number two. So we have here hemoglobin is protein in the red blood cells that carry oxygen from the lungs um, to the body tissue. People with less than 12 grams of hemoglobin per deciliter of blood are anemic. Okay, so that tells us the population expectation is that mu is going to be 12. Let's keep going. The public health official in Jordan um, and suspects that the children are at risk of being anemic. We've got a sample of 12, I mean a sample of 50, sorry about that. Okay, so here, our HO, this is the expectation. Our mu is going to equal to 12. Why? That is the cutoff. That is the status quo because they said if it's less than it, they're anemic, which takes me to HA. Ah, when it is less than. That is what our argument is. We are trying to see if we have 
if it if these kids truly if we have in this particular case we're trying to see if we have a significant amount of kids that are less than the 12 um, grams and um, as we're looking at it is is like 11.9 is it statistically significant just because they're slightly under okay um, I know in terms of for um, for the idea of the diabetic threshold is 6.5. Um, if you're 6.4, does that mean you're not diabetic or pre-diabetic? You know, that's a doctor question. For those of you who have um, doctors um, that are parents, you can ask them. But again, it's the overall threshold. If it's a little less, is it statistically significant? And that's what our question is. Please also notice all these words right here. We've got to define mu. So mu, the true, that word pops up a lot, the true mean amount of hemoglobin in the Jordanian children. So we've got our ho-ho-ho, all our, our null hypothesis, our alternative hypothesis, our null, remember, we've got to use the Greek. It's always about either mu or p. In this case, it's a mean, it's mu. Okay, equals whatever the status quo of expectation here of um, okay blood sell them out. And here we're saying, nope, people are less. And if it is less, is it statistically significant enough to say these are diabetic? They are diabetic. Okay, let's go to the next one. Ah, as you read it, I see a proportion coming. So the Gallup poll reports that 72% of the teens said they seldom or never argue with their friends. So we've got Yvonne that wonders... Um, if these results hold true, she surveyed 150 of her friends. Uh, um, 150, nope, not of her friends, just kids at the school. So let's look at our HO. Here, remember, no hats, no hats. So this is your um, population percentage because that is what the Gallup poll says. So that's the big picture. That's your parameter of 72. Here, Please notice, she's not saying it's less than, she's not saying it's um, greater than, she's just saying, I just think it's different. I just don't think it's 72. Okay? So, and please notice how we define the, um, the P. It's the true proportion of teens in Yvonne's school who rarely or never argue with their friends. And the last example that I want to give, jump down to number eight. Number eight, they're explaining what's wrong with the hypothesis test. So, honestly, I don't even have to read this. See that hat on top of that P? No, it cannot be there. Remember, you cannot put on a hat. With the hypothesis test, it's got to be, okay, it must be something like this. It's got to be P equals. Okay, that's what's wrong with that one. Okay, and as we look at number 10... Hmm, what's wrong here? Well, what's wrong is that it has got to be the same. Okay, so no, not the same. Okay, so TTFN, ta-ta for now. Peace out.